Welcome back, everybody. Just taking a break. Oh, I need a chiropractor. Uh, I'm painting up like 40 jerk baits over here. I got in like 30 or 40 reels yesterday. I thought I was going to be chill for a couple days, but nope. I got in a bunch of reels. So I've been busting out a bunch of reels. So I'm going to take a break and uh, going over one of my, I would say, newfound favorite rods i got it um i'm gonna say a year and a half ago probably i got it yeah i got it from dobbins when i went down to texas in 2022 23 and i've been chucking uh big chatters on it big spinner baits half ounce chatters and let's see what it is. And that's really about it, especially on this rod. Um, I haven't really designated for those two techniques. And it is the Dobbins Champion 736 CB Glass. Let's see what I got on this thing right now, because I haven't fished it since, I think, November. When we were uh, going after some musky and some big bigger bass uh, in the fall throwing the big spinner bait but <clears throat> this is the 736 cb glass it's seven foot three one piece it's 10 to 25 pound line i think i've got 20 pound in vizx on this right now three eighths to one and a half ounce it's a heavy fast action it's chatter baits large crank baits and spinner baits i haven't thrown big crank baits on it yet uh, i probably should like big uh square bills i typically throw a big square bill you can probably throw just deep divers on it but Big square bills would work really well on this as well. 3.5s, even those like big strike kings and stuff. But I've got the one ounce. This is the one ounce Omega uh, Genesis TI spinner bait. This is the one I've been catching all those musky and pike and five and six pound bass this, this fall on. I've definitely seen better days, but it, it's uh, I'm pretty pristine condition considering how many pike and muskie and stuff have been biting it and the hooks are still really sharp so i will probably do a video on the omega spinnerbait itself just its origin and how i came up with uh, the design and all the components and all that kind of stuff that'll probably be in the next video maybe this weekend uh, but yeah i throw mainly on this rod all spinnerbaits and chatterbaits i throw the omega spinnerbait a ton on it and i will throw like half ounce raptures um and i'll throw the three quarter ounce raptures on this as well it is just a great great spinnerbait ride crankbait ride or uh chatterbait ride uh, when i first picked it up in texas i took it down to i think lake athens i took it down to lake fork a couple other lakes and it handled those three to four pounders no problem and then i started chucking the big blade on it this fall in summer and catching some five to six pound largies on it and catching those 40 inch musky um, and it handled those with absolutely no problem it's not that heavy i have it paired with a diowa steez a what's going on here a diowa steez a six three to one this guy right here i'm just trying to not make it knock around it's a 6 3 to 1 Steez A with a bass art handle, SLP, pink knobs, bearings in both the knobs, and they always spin. So, super smooth reel, awesome uh, spinnerbait, chatterbait, cranking reel, just with that 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. A little clicking drag on it. Ah, come on. Um, but yeah, I will probably need to uh, change out the line just because it's kind of coiled and it's been sitting in the office for a couple weeks now. Um, I've got plastic on the cork, which this cork actually looks mint, so I might take it off and just uh, U40 it. But yeah, this, was an, this has been a great rod. Uh, I know a lot of guys don't like glass. Post down below if you like glass, don't like glass for chatterbaits, spinnerbaits. Um, it's... It's not as heavy as a rod as it should be. I'm pretty sure it's e-glass, so it's kind of a blend. And a lot of guys just don't like that soft, kind of mushy feeling. 
which doesn't really bother me when I'm throwing a spinnerbait or chatterbait in pretty, like chatterbaits can be thrown in pretty shallow cover. Those fish will blitter pretty good. So I'm used to cranking with a glass rod. My 705 CBMF glass is one of my favorite all-time rods. So for me, it's not that big of a deal, but I know a lot of guys don't like glass. So but this is it. Steez A63 with the Dobbins Champion. 736 CB glass. Awesome rod. It doesn't weigh that much. Awesome, awesome rod. For being a seven foot three crankbait rod, it does uh, the job fantastic. So that is it, guys. I'm going to probably go run laps or do something. It is pouring out right now, but I definitely need to uh, go stretch or something. So there you go, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.